where my brain went. Clandestino, um, an artist from Panama, songwriter and a painter sort of things. And um, I've been living in Thailand for two years already. First of all for professional matters, uh, studies, and now I'm finally having a lot of fun doing art. Uh, yeah, Bonero Clandestino, right? Do you have the meaning about this name? Because in, in, Thai, in Thailand we have the meaning about our name, so do you have the meaning about your name? Well, first of all, good pronunciation, yes, Bonero Clandestino. And Bonero is all these people that sell stuff in the street, uh, like street vendors. And Clandestino is uh, clandestine, pretty much like without no rules. So all the concept, all the idea I'm throwing to the market, it's all about this stuff has no rule, but it's still the kind of things you see in the daily life. Okay, I heard that you're interested in the arts about the word Laticia, right? Yes. I pronounce right? Yes, Laticia. It's, 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 you might listen to my Spanish pronunciation, but the thing is that Laticia is the fusion from Latin America and Asia. After living here for a while, a uh, couple of friends have given me feedback and I feel so much influenced about uh, Asian culture that I decided to address my arts to that side. 
Yeah, and and about the Ladishir, it this is not the first time that you arranged the event about the Ladishir, or this is the first time? Well, uh, I we did a release uh, properly of the concept on uh, earlier this year, and this is the first one that uh, we managed to produce in a good venue with cooperation with a Thai artist, locals, and also with a local foundation. Because I'm thinking about mankind. If I don't do something that at least it helps a little, I don't think it's not worth it. Uh, so I just recently have the time to learn myself again through arts, paintings, and writing songs. And you, do you uh, uh, arrange the, the event about the arts before? Um, it's, it wasn't recently in this year that I had the opportunity in Thailand, Bangkok mostly, to create, or elaborate and produce this concept of concert galleries. So uh, this is the second one, not the last one we're going to do. Uh, first of all in Bangkok and eventually all around Asia. Around Asia, sounds good. And do you explain more about the word concert gallery? Is this about the music together with the arts or something more, more than that? A friend of mine, CEO of Travel Book, Dean Kelly, he gave me the idea that uh, I have the potential to work with paintings and music, illustrations and sounds, in order to express myself better. Because I was having this problem that I'm singing Spanish. How do I make people understand what I'm doing or seeing? So yes, at this time I had to manage, uh, have the opportunity to cooperate with a Thai artist, Pop, and we said I'm going to illustrate the way Panamanian have one day, you know, a day in the life of a Panamanian guy, and he did the Thai side, and we mixed that into a couple of videos and projects. So uh, this is this idea for this concert gallery, but the idea on long term is to have other artists exchanging concept and each one illustrating one side of it to show the kind of the balance. Okay, and which which point that make the the event this event uh, different from the other? I mean, like the style of your like that. I have met so many musicians, good places, good people here, but in terms of the artistic side from Latin America, um, I don't want to say I'm the only one. There's amazing people there, but I'm trying to do this step longer, into further. I mean, into reaching to the Thai side and let's build something together. It's not like I'm here, I'm Latino, and you have to listen to this. It's more like, I want to learn from you, Rian Pasata, you know, I'm living here. So, just this is what I'm going to give you in exchange. That's pretty much the style of it. Yeah, this, this concept is, is quite interesting. And what do you want uh, to get from the, the, the audience? or? What do you want to express, like your idea to the, the other people about the objective of the... Oh, for example, a good professor gave me a good lesson about leaving a legacy. And I'm thinking about mankind. It would be kind of dumb not thinking about working in cooperation with a, a foundation or institute that's doing something similar to me. I'm doing music. So yes, we got Clontoy Music Program in this case to uh, provide music tools and also I'm going to be giving like a Latin class there, you know? And b bottom line, I would like to be happy for sure and I would like my guests and uh, people who listen to be happy. Even though sadness is part of the balance, uh, in general it's just about being happy. Sabai, sabai. Okay, I think we, we got all the information from you and uh, how can we find you, like the channels or the YouTube, the, the channel that the fan can chat with you or to follow you? I will invite everybody to our website, boneroclandestino.com. I know it's hard to listen and try to write it, so it will be up here, down here somewhere. And uh, yeah, check it out. I'm even, we're also on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and all the concerts, all the events, all the pictures, if you're here and you say cheese to the camera, yeah, they're gonna, you're gonna appear there. It's pretty much uh, our digital office. So yes, even the new songs, the new concert, and everything will be in our website. And do you want to say something to the, the, your fans or the one who watching you in Thai or in English? It could be Spanish also, but they're gonna no? understand. <laughs> um, well, hola, sabari cup. Um, thanks for much. Thanks so much for giving uh, the sensation of home that Bangkok is now for me. And um, your support is great. I wouldn't be here if it weren't uh, for you, the amazing people that I have met all around. 
uh, musicians, artists, uh, promoters, all of that. And it's, I believe it's an unique, an unique opportunity. So, Cup and Cup, gracias, muchos, y uh, I hope to see you soon also. Stay tuned. Thank you.